Hi everybody, welcome to the Explore Space Runner video series, where you will learn how to use Space Runner by exploring the sample data that comes preloaded with your account. In this video, I'm going to take you through the basics of using Space Runner so that you can get a taste of what it's like to use the application. But remember, we're just scratching the surface. There's so much more to explore outside of this video. So, let's dive in. As soon as you log in, you will land on the Portfolios module. A portfolio groups your data into buckets. Here, I have created a portfolio for each of my company's locations and projects. Notice that each of my portfolios has a type. For instance, I have used the type Lease Building for my Berkeley office portfolio, and the type Construction Project for my Houston refurbishment portfolio. Types give me total control over the fields I want to configure for a portfolio, and once configured, I can view and edit the portfolio in the Details tab. So, if we select the Berkeley office, you'll notice that I'm tracking its location, status, and lease information fields. If we select the Houston refurbishment project, I'm tracking the location, status, and project fields. The types and fields features are extremely versatile and are available in all modules. In other words, you can configure all Space Runner modules to do just about anything. The possibilities are endless. Now, you've probably been tracking your data in a spreadsheet. A space allows you to take that data and visually lay it out on a diagram you've uploaded, bringing your data to life. Now let's look at the spaces that have been loaded in your sample portfolio. In my example, I have created spaces from CAD floor plans, but a space can be anything really, as long as you have it in a PDF file. Opening a space takes you to the space editor. This is where all the exciting stuff happens. Notice that we have some interesting items on the space. Let's get acquainted with them. We call these little icons Zycons. They represent the real world objects that you have been tracking in your spreadsheets. This colorful box here is called a boundary, and they can be used to refine your space by creating zones and sections. And finally, these interesting shapes here are markups, which you can use to annotate your space. By the way, panning and moving around the space editor is super easy. Simply hold down the space bar, then click and drag the background. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Super simple. All right, let's start designing our space. First, I will add some Zycons by dragging and dropping a few catalog items from the catalog panel. So, I want a computer. Maybe a chair. The catalog item is essentially the mold that your Zycons are created from. By the way, you can create your own catalog items and customize them with colors, icons, text, images, or take it to the next level with 3D objects. Pretty cool, right? Now that I have added a few Zycons, let's quickly move them around. Rotate them. And add some details. Notice that each of my Zycons has different fields based on their type. A computer may have an IP address, or machine name, while my chair may have a part number or asset tag. Just like with portfolios, I can configure the fields of the Zycons as well. Next, let's add a boundary. Now remember, I said that boundaries are a way to refine your space. In this example, I have used boundaries to represent rooms and apartments. You can use boundaries to define security areas or temperature controlled zones, anything that is meaningful to you. Okay, I haven't defined any room boundaries for this part of my space yet, so let me go ahead and draw some. To draw my room, all I have to do is select the boundary type I want and start drawing. In this instance, my room is a rectangle, but I can draw any shape I like. Just like Zycons, you can change the fields of boundaries. Also, since each type of boundary has a unique color, I can easily get a bird's eye view of the different boundaries on my space. Now, if I move a Zycon inside of a boundary, a special relationship is created between them. We call this relationship a link. For instance, when I place this phone inside of room 1001, they are linked, and the Zycon automatically inherits the boundary's fields like room number, and room type. When I move the phone to room 1002, presto, the room number updates magically. Now, 
We've been talking about linking boundaries to Zycons, but you can link objects in Space Runner in many different ways. How about a boundary inside of a boundary? Here, you can see my rooms get their department details from the department boundary. I can link Zycons to Zycons. Heck, I can even embed a Zycon inside of a Zycon. Zycons can have ports that you can connect things to. Are you starting to see how powerful and flexible Space Runner is? Now, I know that was a lot of information, but there is one more thing I want to show you. It's called markups. Use markups to annotate your space, draw attention to areas of concern, leave your team members some feedback, or even measure distances and areas. They are super simple to add. Just open the markups toolbar and start exploring the many options we have. Purple clouds, blue arrows, green highlights. Just think of all the combinations you can have. Now, can you believe those are just the basics of Space Runner? Make sure to check out our other videos where we dig in deeper. I hope you learned a little more about Space Runner and thank you for watching.